Well, howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. I'm amateur artist Mark D. Chandler from Manland. And yes, I think it's time for another product review. What do you think? That's right, because I happen to know everything. Everything there is to know about bushcrafting, uh, camping, and hiking. You don't believe me? <laughs> Just ask me a question. Buddy, I can spit the answers out left and right. There's nothing that I don't know. But of course, it might take six to eight months to get back to you. It's going to take at least that long for me to look the information up on the internet. And to help me out with this here review, this product review, which you already know about because you saw the title of the video, I've got my lovely assistant, Mrs. Manland, who's going to do the modeling for me. Today we'll be reviewing the Walmart version of the Ozark Trail two-person dome tent. Around 30 bucks from Walmart. That's right, this little puppy right here costs about 30 bucks at Walmart. And it happens to be just the right size, right weight, right everything. We've not even opened the thing up yet. We got it from Christmas. Santa Claus was good to us. Now it's got that little piece of cardboard inside this thing to make it look nice. Uh, so it's got a little extra weight to it. Uh, I weighed it up. It don't say so on the package, but it weighs 4 pounds and 15 ounces. I know that's correct because I weighed it up on my little, uh, the ounce meter all right, now here's a review. This is the top shot of the whole bag. And there's a shot of the back of the thing. And there's a shot from the side. Never work with products. They don't want to work with you. And here Mrs. Manley is going to open this thing up for the very first time. See, that there's that cardboard box I was telling y'all about. Hey, would y'all looky there. The instructions on how to set this thing up is sewed to the inside of the bag. Now ain't that neat? Well actually I don't need no stinking instructions. They put that in there from Mrs. Manland. She's gonna be the one to put this tent together. And we get to watch. And looky there, it comes all bundled up nice and neat. As Mrs. Manland demonstrates how easy it is to pull it out that there cardboard sleeve. Not really much help I guarantee you, but at least she's free. All right, we've been checking the inventory list to make sure that everything that's supposed to be here is indeed here. What's that part on the very bottom there? The tent. The tent. Yes. Then we have a rain fly. Nope, that's the tent loft. Where's the rain fly? That's the rain fly. Where's the tent loft? Right here. Yep, that little piece of screen there. Where's the tent stakes? Nope, that's the pole. That's the pole. That's the stakes. That's the tent stakes. Now the tent stakes have a carrying case, and they also have another piece of paper in there. Instructions. I wonder what the instructions are. I ain't looked at that yet. Hmm. By the way, that piece of paper that come inside them tent stakes, it's the six month warranty. Let's read this while she's getting this thing together. <clears throat> six month limited warranty. It's a bunch of words in there I can't understand. Hey, you're a paralegal. <laughs> uh, this warranty does not cover eating frog legs or cooking inside the tent. It does not cover the fact that your wife has to go to the bathroom and she has to do it in a hurry and forgets to unzip the opening and just bails through the front wall. Uh, this warranty does not cover <laughs> eating beans before going inside the tent at night. It also does not cover the fact that you may have to, in an emergency, make an emergency evacuation outside the tent because you did eat said beans. And then it goes into other stuff there that, well, I don't think this is appropriate for children.
Of that thing, huh? I'm sure it might work. Feels like it's stainless steel of some sort, but it ain't got no sharp point on there, just kind of blunt. And this is mainly is going to attempt to put one in the ground. Pretty soft out here. Good job! Except it needs to boot that way. <laughs> the crook points out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me inspect that one. Yes, that is it. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, that's a uh, that's your see-through underwear right your bug netting for your face nope I know where that goes now we got Mrs. Manland gonna take us a tour on her house and show us what they're all the features are all about what's this thing right here Mrs. Manland it's a rain fly no this thing right here um, that's an electric electrical core thing that you're yeah so your power core can go through there yeah and loop to the inside i remember to hold the camera mm -hmm. now what about the door there it looks like it rolls back and they have some type of tie strap yeah, it does. Look, you can undo it. and it has two zippers on it zipper. does it have a zipper doohickey thing on the inside too it does Not only is she not too good at getting sticks in the hole, it appears that she can't unzip anything or zip anything back up either. I think I can. I'm doing it. I got this. Yeah, she got it. Say I can't. Now, what other, what other kind of feature we got? It's gray and blue. You I think you're going to like it? I see a rain fly. A rain fly? Mm-hmm. And it has a ventilated window on the back, which is now covered up because we reversed the rain fly, but it's right in there. Let's take the rain fly off so we can see through to the inside. All right, we undid the rain fly so we can see the inside a little better. Kind of roomy in there, but uh, this right here is your cargo carrier doohickey thingy holder thingy. And underneath this here is another loop-de-loop. -de -loop. These things tie on to has four tie-outs. Two, three, four to hang the cargo utility net. And underneath it, there's another one right here. But this cargo net has to be gone in order to use that one. I assume that's to hang a lantern from. Now Mrs. Manland is going to crawl inside. And we're going to test it out for size compatibility. All right, Mrs. Manland is trying to get inside that tent. She's going to lay down the side. Yeah, we got to get a size comparison here. See if you can lay down the side of it comfortably. Now she's laid out completely. Let's see, there's the head up there to the top. Her feet's almost down there at the bottom. Oh no, this might be a problem for me. All right, darling. Got six. I'm six foot two. Let's see if I'll fit. I gotta get up. All right, like I say, I'm six foot two and a quarter. Let's see if I can fit in here. That's a doorway. 
take my glasses off. Yeah, it's not so bad. I can actually fit. Let's try it from this side. Yeah. yeah, that'll work. Get the sun out my eyes. That might actually work. <sighs> Not too bad. Let me see the camera right quick. Now we're looking back at Mrs. Manly from inside the blue bubble. They got one of them uh, bag things over here to the side. Okay, that's nice. Uh, this thing costs like, and here's a good view of the cargo utility holder, cargo net thing. There's that strap that hangs down, but you can't really use that because you have this in place. All right, zippers on the inside. It has that rain ground cover that actually does lift up somewhat around the edges. Not a whole lot, but it is there somewhat. And sitting in it right here, you know, and sitting inside this thing is pretty daggone roomy. I mean, it's got a lot of good airflow without the rainfly. Rainfly, of course, I believe is designed to turn whichever way you happen to want it there. Uh, one to keep the rain out the backside in case that rain's coming in and blowing in a certain direction. Y'all know how it is with the tent. But anyway, like I say, I'm totally an expert. I know it all. So that concludes our little uh, demonstration tour and uh, kind of product review of uh, the Walmart brand Ozark Trails two-man, two-person dome tent. Yeah, we had a lot of fun putting it together, didn't we, babe? We sure did. That's right. Uh, now it's all up to you to get it back in that little bag right there. And by the way, hurry up. I'm hungry. I'm waiting on supper. Mm -hmm.